Aha! So this is ready to go for a test ride. Got the uh, got this triangle section built here. These cross braces, and I've not got this section built because um, I want to see if. Uh, my guy's knee is going to hit because he's really tall. So if his knee hits there, that's uh, that's bad. <laughs> I'll have to uh, I'll have to rejigger this one or something. Anyway, so I just want to do a test run. It's all measured and it should be fine. I just want to make sure. And then once I do do uh, that, then this one here gets connected. That joint. Gets uh, wrapped with hemp. This one here gets beefed up. Um, these get cleaned. It's got some holes. Um, yeah, same thing on this side. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So, yeah, a bit of cleanup work. Um, and right now, I'm not sure whether or not to connect. The two, uh, the two front wheels with any kind of tie rod. Um, I was thinking of just taking a spherical bearing, a Heim joint, and running it from here to here, so that these two wheels would be would be locked together instead of independent. Um, but uh, if they're connected straight together. There's something called uh, Ackerman steering, which this would not have. It would mean that the, the two wheels would be turning at exactly the same rate, um, which is fine if you're going pretty much straight, but if you're taking a big corner, you want this one to be turned more, and this one to be turned less. Um, because this one would have a smaller radi radius turning that way, and this one would have a bigger radius turning that away. So, um, a direct tie rod would not allow for that. Um, I'd have to put in something in here, and I don't know, I think, uh, I think it might be okay actually just to have them independent. We'll have to check it out. <laughs> try it and see how it goes. Anyway, got, um, I took a regular mountain bike handlebar and uh, I filled it with sand and then packed sand in really tight and then just took a propane torch and heated it up, bent it over, heated it up a little bit more, bent it over, tried to avoid uh, creases and sharp corners like this one here. Um, or this one, which didn't turn out very well at all. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, one mountain bike handlebar that's uh, bent, bent, and then chopped in half, and then I've uh, squeezed it into the uh, into the clamp, to the stem clamp, and. Got an idea. Um, this is another mountain bike handlebar. Also, didn't turn out very well. That uh, that split there is from uh, heating it up with a propane torch and then bending it too much. And when I bent it too much, it popped apart there. So that's bad. So to avoid that, you know, what I did was um, was. Uh, heated a little bit, bent it, and then moved along to the next point. Heated that, moved, bent it. Um, and I still got another kink right here, but it's not its not too, too bad. It still, still seems pretty strong to me. Um, I think that kink happened when I was trying to bend somewhere else, but it was still kind of hot here, or maybe this place was already uh, had already collapsed enough that um, 
that it was uh, vulnerable to bending more at that one point. Anyway, whatever. The I filled it with sand to uh, prevent that kind of thing from happening, but uh, obviously I still have to take some care. And yeah, so I've got just the back brake hooked up here, uh, like this for now anyway. And so that's uh, that's working. I've got the cranks. Yeah, got the cranks on there. And uh, I had some pieces of wood in here when uh, when I was making the thing, so that um, that ensured that there's enough space. I actually had to get in here and file it a little bit. Right, uh, right in here. I had to file it just to uh, to give this thing enough space. I might take a, a bigger axle, a longer axle, and extend this thing outward a little bit. And for now, I've got the derailleur just locked in position here, and uh, it's pretty much maxed out. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to um, put a few extra links in here, which is easy. And, uh, ah, I made an oversight. I made an oversight right here. Um, this is part of the old frame here. And uh, it's pointing up on its old angle. Like it doesn't go up there anymore. Um, but the chain um, doesn't quite touch here in the, in the smallest gear but it's close. So, I don't know, I think I'll just put um, probably a small piece of steel here just to, to keep the chain from bashing in there. Or even just an uh, inner tube, I'm not sure. Probably a, a bit of um, aluminum, thick aluminum flashing, like from a road sign kind of thing, you know, sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, or, I don't know, maybe a tuna can or something, <laughs> just on there, to, uh, to protect the uh, hemp wrappings from getting bashed with the chain. And... Tomorrow morning I'll go for a test ride, see how this thing works. Yeah, it's motivation to get up in the morning. Haha. <laughs>